In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Major Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. The title of this presentation is Explaining Bose Einstein Condensate from the Guidance of the Quran. So, in this presentation, I will show how Allah God Almighty in the last revelation to people can teach us all the branches of knowledge in a way superior to that of people, the knowledge of people. And I, this is just an example about Bose Einstein or Einstein condensate. Now, the first step is to say what is this Bose Einstein. By the way, it can be the the name Einstein can be pronounced Einstein or Einstein, and I th I believe that the connect the correct pronunciation is Einstein because it's a German name. So anyway, this Bose Einstein condensate it's a phenomenon in physics. I will explain first what is this phenomenon and how how can we learn it and devise practical applications from it from the guidance of the Quran. Firstly, what is this phenomenon? As you can see on the screen, we are used to in matter that to say that it's composed of atoms and it can be found in solid or liquid or gas state. Now the three pictures you see on the screen in matter in a solid state or a liquid or gas state they all share a certain kind of um, property is that we always have atoms as distinct um, objects in matter like in all cases we always have this is an atom we say this is an atom a certain entity or a certain object in matter now what Bose Einstein uh, theorized or to put a theory that if you cool down matter to almost absolute zero meaning that there is almost no heat no thermal energy whatsoever in that condition they, they put a theory that these atoms will stop behaving like certain objects in a certain location they will be like a wave they become like a wave or a coherent um, um, fluid, like it becomes like a fluid state, not like an, an, a matter. They become like a um, wavy kind of st uh, a medium. So meaning that um, matter as we know it, it will not behave as like um, rigid structures or rigid, this is an atom. It will become like a fluid kind of state or like a wavy uh, structure so as you can see here's here are some uh, photos here we have the theory the the hypothesis or the theory of Bose Einstein condensates now people in this day and age they did an experiment and they found out exactly that when you cool down matter to that um, level of um, temperature or nearly no thermal energy whatsoever it, it matter, the atoms stop behaving like um, at a certain location, they start behaving like a wave kind of uh, fashion. Now, this, this kind of uh, behavior is quite puzzling for physicists and scientists. It's very puzzling. Why should atoms behave in this fashion? Why they should become like a wave or like, a, let's say, a fabric or, or a fluid? Now, as I said, they put theories and hypotheses. Now, the problem with these theories is that there is no kind of definite answer as to why matter behaves like this. That, like this. And also, when there is n not that much knowledge about this topic, they start using big words like quantum coherence and these kind of just big terminologies that scares people off. And they just put this quantum coherence. And as I said, the reason they use these big words because they really do not understand it that much. Because when you understand something thoroughly, you use simple words to convey the information. But when you say, for example, soliton waves, quantum coherence, just a handful of people that understand this. Now, one of the miracles of the Quran, that as you can see, when Allah teaches you something in the Quran, he teaches you big concepts 
in very simple terms and very simple language. Allah does not use big words that confuses people and scares, scares, scare people off. That's one of the miracles of the Quran, the way Allah teaches you. Okay, um, let's begin by explaining Bose Einstein condensate from the Quran. And as you can see, in just a few verses, we can learn why they understand this phenomenon and not only understand it, but also devise practical applications from it. So, the first verse to ponder upon, it's the key verse to understand this uh, phenomenon. It's verse number 30 of chapter 21 of the Quran, which reads, Have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one weaved fabric? Then Allah God tore them apart, and Allah God has made from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? So, here Allah God Almighty is telling us that, telling us about how He created the universe, the heavens and the earth. And in the presentation you will see how this links to Bose-Einstein condensates. Just bear with me please. So Allah is telling us here how He created the heavens and the earth. And He's telling us that in the Quranic verse, have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one weaved fabric. This is the translation, the English translation for, for the Arabic text. So Allah is telling us that the universe as we see it today, the beginning of it, it was one weaved fabric. So the universe was like a fabric, like a weaved fabric. That's the beginning of the universe. It was a one entity, one piece of a, of a fabric. Now the word fabric, if you go and, and think about it more deeply, and you think what is the main kind of um, constituent, or what is the main building block of a fabric? Like this fabric, it's a string. So in other words, Allah is telling us that the basic units of creation, it's a string, weaved together to produce a fabric. Now this string I explained in previous presentations, but just to give you a quick uh, a summary for it, the basic unit of creation, as you can see on the screen, it's three strings weaved together. Three strings weaved together. This is the basic unit of creation. And these strings, or weaved ropes, they are joined together to produce the fabric of space and the fabric of the universe. And this links to another verse in the Quran, in chapter 51, verse 7, where Allah says, and the heaven containing weaved ropes. So Allah is telling us that the heaven, space, and any heaven meaning, meaning any uh, volume surrounding a central object, like the heaven of the earth, the, the, the space, it contains weaved ropes. So, we learn from this, as I said, that at the beginning of the creation of the heavens and the earth, the universe was a fabric of vibrating strings of energy. So, it's a fabric of vibrating weaved strings of energy. That is the beginning of everything, the, 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 the kind of the beginning of the universe. One entity, again, of vibrating strings linked together to produce like a fabric of energy. So let's continue in the verse. Then Allah says, then Allah God tore them apart. So what does this mean? So this fabric, this one, when, when the universe was a, a one kind of piece of fabric, Allah then tore them apart, meaning that this fabric was torn apart. Let's understand this. And, and let me give you a very simple example. You can see it on an uh, on everyday basis. Suppose that you have water. Now, in a cup, let's say. Now, water is like a, a fabric. It's like a weaved fabric together. Suppose that you want to separate water. You want to separate this fabric. Now, the, the, the simplest way to do it is to heat water to provide thermal energy. 
Now, when you heat water, the at the molecules in water they start um, being torn apart from the liquid water. So, so in other words, the simplest way to tear up a fabric is to provide thermal energy. So we learn from this that Allah God Almighty utilized thermal energy in the beginning of the creation of the heavens and the earth to tear up this initial fabric of vibrating strings, providing thermal energy maybe by an explosion or other methods, just providing um, thermal energy. Now what thermal energy does in this case, it tears up these vibrating strings into kind of uh, l lumps or kind of different um, parts. So a part of this vibrating strings become the earth, the sun, the other planets. We have, just to uh, summarize again, we have at the beginning um, fabric of vibrating strings providing thermal energy. They are torn apart. They, pr they then pr provide the kind of the material for for the creation for the uh, earth, the sun, the other planets, and the other objects in the in the creation. Um, now, in order to expand the universe and to maintain the the relative positions between these different parts, there, there must be always thermal energy. And the way Allah God Almighty maintains this, it, using stars. So if you think about stars as providers of thermal energy, the location of the stars in the, in the, in the universe, they, one of their functions is that they keep the distances between these um, torn um, pieces of energy or pieces of vibrating strings, they keep them at certain distances, may maintaining the structural integrity of the universe. Now, if we think about this verse in the Quran to explain this further, uh, verses 7 and 9 from chapter 77 of the Quran, which read, Surely what you are promised must come to pass. Then when the stars lose their lights, and when the heaven is cleft asunder. Here Allah God Almighty is telling us um, some of the uh, affairs of the Day of Judgment, that one of the things that Allah will do on the Day of Judgment, that He will put out the stars, that the stars will be no more. That's one of the, the affairs of the Day of Judgment. So if we think about this, now what will happen if the stars lose their light? Based on what we just I said, what I just said, when the stars are put out, the thermal, the source of thermal energy in the universe, will be removed. There will be no more, meaning that the universe will lose its heat, its thermal energy. Okay, we we now understand from the Quran that the way this universe maintains its relative position, its structural integrity, the way it still expands using, using these stars. So what will happen when they are put out? The temperature will become absolute zero. There is no, no thermal energy. So these pieces will come back, the shrink will come back to the, the initial fabric that they were uh, produced from. Once more, when there is absolute zero in the universe, there is no thermal energy, the universe will shrink and these pieces will come back together become one fabric so everything will become like a fabric a vibrating fabric so i think now you start to get the idea what does this have to do with bose einstein condensate bose einstein condensate tells us that when it's absolute zero everything will be kind of like a wave like a fabric like a fluid and the quran tells us at the beginning, everything was a, a fabric, vibrating strings. And the way it's, it's in this way we see it is due to heat. So when there is no heat, it will go back to its original shape. Okay. Um, and this, um, exp uh, this kind of deduction, it's in the Quran in a very, very beautiful way. In chapter 21, verse 104, Allah says, this is translation, 
And the day when Allah God shall roll up the heavens like a scroll rolled up for books, as Allah God began the, the first creation, Allah shall repeat it, and the promise binding upon Allah, truly Allah shall do it. Now this verse is very, very beautiful. Allah is telling us that it's a promise of Allah God Almighty that on the day of judgment, He will roll the heavens like a scroll rolled up for books. What does this mean? Let me explain. Here we have a folder containing papers. A folder containing papers. Now at the beginning of creation, the whole universe was like a fabric, one fabric. Then Allah utilized thermal energy to tear up this fabric, like papers being torn out of this folder. And each paper the, constitutes the material, for example, for creation of the earth, the sun, the objects in creation. And the, the way these papers, the kind of the relative position for these papers maintained by thermal energy. On the day of judgment, when Allah puts out the stars, there is no thermal energy, the universe will shrink back. So the, these papers will come back to this folder and be closed. So if we go back to the verse, and the day when Allah God shall roll up the heavens like a scroll rolled up for books, as Allah began the first creation, Allah shall repeat it. So as Allah began the creation of the heavens and the earth, having one fabric being torn apart, Allah will repeat it, meaning that the whole pieces of torn fabric or the whole the pieces of the universe will come back to the shrink and will come back to the first state being like a fabric, the, it will be closed and it will return to the first state from which the universe was created. It's very, very beautiful kind of verse in the Quran. In one verse, Allah tells you the story of creation and how everything will end. So I, I think we get the idea how to explain Bose-Einstein condensate because the the way this the universe at the beginning was with no thermal energy, it was a fabric, like a water, fluid state, one fabric. Then when thermal energy was initiated, we have distinct pieces like atoms at different locations. We have atoms, different kind of parts. Okay, um, I, I would like to uh, um, explain this further. If we go to the level of the atom, I, I tried with the help of Allah God Almighty to explain this from the big perspective, like the universe. Now let me, let me explain it in another way, going to the level of the atom. Now in other presentations I talked about the atom and how to understand from the Quran. Now in order not to make this presentation too long, I will tell you the, kind of the main points we learn from the Quran about the atom and the structure of the atom and the function of the atom without going into how I derived this, this knowledge from the Quran. If you want to know that, please visit my website, you will see the details. Just give you the points, just not to make this presentation too long. Okay, now as you can see, we can learn from the Quran that the atom is composed of a central object surrounded by seven heavens or seven layers containing weaved strings, weaved vibrating strings. And we learn from the Quran that the way atomic bonding occurs is that these weaved strings in one atom links with the other and you have an attractive pull, like a gravitational pull between the two atoms. So we have an attractive force indicated here by the red arrows. Now Allah says in the Quran in chapter 15 verse 19 the following, And the earth Allah God spread out and placed therein fair mountains and caused to grow therein all kinds of, of things in due proportion. So Allah is telling us that His creation is balanced. He created everything in a balanced state. So if I apply this to the atom, in order for the atoms to maintain the relative position, the attractive force must be, must be countered by a repulsive force. So we have the attractive force due to the linking weave ropes in red, and we have a repulsive force due to magnetic repulsion between the atoms indicated by the blue arrows. So these are equal and opposite forces. 
Now, suppose that we cool down the atoms to absolute zero, which, which means that we reduce the vibration of the atoms, which produces the magnetic repulsion. So one of the forces will be lost, which is the magnetic repulsion between the atoms. So what will, will happen here, that the, all the atoms will shrink and will link together due to their vibrating ropes in their heavens. So the whole atomic structure will become like a weaved fabric, like a fluidic state of vibrating strings. So everything will become like a, um, a wave vibrating, a vibrating wave. So as you can see here, this is just a, a, symbol, a symbol for what will happen. Everything will become like a fabric. So the atoms will no longer be the way we know them, like distinct objects in, in matter. They will become like a, a fabric of, of vibrating strings because that's their original state. What we see about the atom is due to the thermal energy that separates these vibrating strings into lumps becomes like a, a lump here, a lump here of vibrating strings, and that's what we call an atom. So actually an atom is a concentration of vibrating strings in a certain space. But when the thermal energy is removed, it links with other atoms, it becomes like a one fabric, one wave, one fluidic kind of uh, state. And that correlates exactly with what the, the theory of Bose-Einstein condensation and the, the way people proved it by cooling matter to very low um, temperatures. So we saw, brothers and sisters, how from the guidance of the Qur'an, in a matter of minutes, we can understand what people think about very complicated um, science. So this is one of the miracles of the Qur'an, how Allah teaches you everything from the Qur'an without needing Bose or Einstein or Johnson or Skinner. Because Allah wants the believer to be the teacher of others and the one having dignity. And you will never, as a believer, have, uh, have dignity if you are always reliant and you, all, you always need others for knowledge. You need to be self-sufficient in knowledge. And the only, only way to do that is if you have a source of knowledge independent of people and we have that and it's the Quran the last revelation of Allah God to people it's a book containing knowledge of the Creator which is far superior to any knowledge that people can come up with their guesswork with conjecture with their trial error techniques with their experimentation with other methods you have the right answer from the from the first time why do you want to waste your life in pursuing something that you will, might find at the end that it's pointless, like a theory of evolution or other theories. You have the, the, the correct information from the first time in the Quran. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at wwwquran miraclecom and you can email me at zquran at gmail.com and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.